con there is another date of escalation. That's what the Lord told me. I don't go to Sundaraka and you guys been talking to me about setting dates. The first date I set, the first date I set, I, it was um, September 23rd, 2015. And the reason I set that date is I was seeing everybody talking about how the rapture is going to happen on that day. And the rapture was this big topic, hot topic, when it, it's going to happen on that day. And then I looked at Revelation chapter 14 and I realized that no, because verse 6, the gospel goes out and then... Babylon the Great falls, it's the hour of God's judgment, and then the mark of the beast comes out. So I knew the rapture couldn't happen until Revelation, uh, the sequence of events had to be fulfilled. So I made a YouTube video saying, God told me exactly what's going to happen on September 23rd, 2000, and you should watch that video, just search it. It's my only video that has the most views, I think. Now watch the whole video. That was my prediction and what I said the Lord told me about September 23rd, 2015. Then the next time I set a date, I was expecting World War III to happen any time from that, especially from that date. So if you watch the progression of the videos, if you watch all, a bunch of my videos, you'll come to a conclusion that I'm very accurate, especially when everything starts coming to pass. And if you had known that I had truly set the date of the 29th, I just got so sick of everybody always boo-hooing the date setting, so I didn't put it on, and I should have. And you're going to be, be begging me for the next date, because that might be the full scale, or there might be another big boom go off somewhere. And we get a few more days. I'm just saying, y'all need to be praying about when the next opportunity to uh, get some supplies ready and get down to the Walmart and get that gas can filled and the fuel tank up and running and get everything ready, get the propane all filled, get everything, all your supplies ready. And I'm just waiting for another date. At this point, I'm thinking it could happen any night. Every single night from now on, I'm going to be assuming that's going to happen, that the EMP or something's going to happen overnight, and it's going to full, go full scale from now on. And today is what, April 30th? And y'all, listen, they've been threatening it since 2016, and they only wish they had done it back then because now the United States has vamped up our nuclear arsenal. And then you realize, oh man, that's why they wanted all of our plutonium or uranium one, you know. So that's what they wanted. And then Obama gave it to them. I'm just saying. And then this government, these people want to come after me. I'm telling you, the Lord even told me that, that it's correlating with my life. The more the people in this community persecute me, when they're finally ready to like end my life, World War III is going to happen. And when I say end my life, economically I'm talking. And they're all going to go, how did that guy, we don't get this. And then if they need a miracle, they're going to need to come to me because I'm going to be the one with the power of God. And you're going to all see that. And then God will have mercy and he'll say, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry I had to make World War III happen. I had to wake all of you up. And he's going to comfort some of his loved ones. And then some are going to, many are going to follow away. Many are going to follow. It's going to be a great falling away. <laughs> it's not going to be just a falling away. It's going to be like everybody who is a Christian is now taking the mark of the beast. And there was a few people at every church who were a remnant. And depending on the church. <laughs> some churches don't have a single remnant. Oh, woe to you churches who don't even have a single remnant. Oh, that's a revelation from God right there. <laughs> At least some churches, there's like a few people who are going <laughs> to not fall away and take the mark. <laughs> and then, uh, think about it. At the end of this thing, there's only 144,000 out of a whole global population, post-apocalyptic, post-World War III population. And there's two witnesses and 144,000. Get ready, because World War III is going to happen. 
And from now on, this is the first time I've ever thought that. But from now on, I'm going to be ready every night. And it could be until the 12th. But by the or the twentieth of May, so we could still be as long as I have I'm surviving and everything's. See, here's the thing: when people decide to destroy somebody's life, they need to be in prayer about that before they do that, because you might be messing with God, the apple of God's eye, <laughs> and you're gonna find out. And you know I set the date of the twenty ninth. Don't lie. You never said nothing about the 29th. I did too. And look what happened. Biggest bomb ever dropped on Iran. On Iranian forces. Biggest drama bomb ever dropped in Syria. Caused a two point something earthquake. <laughs> I mean, come on. I, don't, I still don't think World War III is ever... You know, you're wrong about World War III. Go ahead, leave your comment. <laughs> Just the fact you're still alive is, like, lucky. <laughs> anyway, praise God.